right. Now, British human rights activist Macy Gifford is currently on the ground in Kiev, but is desperately trying to find a way out of the besieged Ukrainian capital as Putin's tanks close in. He sent this update from the central train station earlier, where many thousands are also attempting to escape and others have been sheltering with their families on the underground transport network. And this is the train station for people trying to get out of the city. You can see how busy it is. People are queuing up and sleeping in the station. So, Mesa, there was certainly a sense of calm in those shots. How are people coping in Kiev today? Well, the city, there's been a disconnect between um, life in the city over the last few days and what the British and American intelligence has been telling the world for a while now. I don't think people actually believed they were going to come under attack. Uh, people were going to the shops, they were going to restaurants, life was going on, um, yet the shadow was sort of looming over them. And it's only in the last, obviously, let's say 24 hours, that the grim reality of total war has descended. And um, there's fear, the shops are filling up, ATMs, are, the queues are forming, and we've seen a real rush to the roads and to the train stations. So it's... Um, but there's also a blitz-like spirit as well. Uh, don't get me wrong, there are Ukrainians out there who are rushing to join the local forces and also hunkering down for a, a hard few months ahead. May Sigifa, we're just taking a look at this live shot of Kiev tonight. Uh, are you aware of any more explosions or missiles in the past few hours? Um, I haven't heard any here, but I'm in a safe place in the south of the city. Um, just this morning, I had a number of explosions. Um, I was on the street when a uh, Russian cruise missile passed overhead. Uh, and uh, I mean, it's, it's scary because uh, there are women and children obviously still in the city. Um, people are scared that as we speak, uh, possibly tens of thousands of Russian troops will completely encircle the city. Uh, in the last few hours, there has been a Ukrainian counterattack. We do know that. Uh, a key airport north of here was taken back from the Russians, which may have bought Kiev a bit more time. But I think uh, people are um, used to the fact, or at least coming to... Uh, the firm conclusion that really this is the end game is nine, that Russia will inevitably take the city. Um, it's just about getting as many people out of the city as possible, um, including myself. Well, indeed, because speculation that Russia could have control of Kiev within three days, Mesa. I know you're trying to get out. Tell me, though, I mean, you're a very brave man. You went to Syria in 2015 to fight against ISIS. How do the two situations compare? Well, it's um, it's tough to be on the other side of the, um, the might of the... Uh, obviously, I was fighting against the Islamic State alongside the Americans. We had total air superiority. We were hitting them hard and hitting them everywhere. And it's very much the complete opposite in this case. Um, I've been here working with local people. Uh, those are humanitarians. Those are in the civil defense. These are citizens that are quickly joining the Ukrainian military. I've been interviewing them. I've been speaking to them. Um, and I've even been doing some training with them, some uh, medical classes as well, really to uh, pass on a little bit of my knowledge uh, that I've built up over the last few years with local people. Uh, but the, the message I keep getting from, it, from every politician I meet to every military man I meet is the same, that Ukraine is not going to surrender, they're going to fight back, that Putin is a tyrant that wants to bend Ukraine to his will. And uh, it's a real honor for me to spend the next few days working with the people here. And the, the moment a window of opportunity 
um, uh, for me to, to get out and get to the western part of Ukraine, I'll be taking it because um, I think the encirclement of the city will happen pretty quickly. Maisie Gifford, your living history, do keep in touch with us and good luck. Uh, get out of Kiev safe.